Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We are going off farm today. We're going over to my neighbor's house, Brian, and Brian is going to show us how he braces up his fence post for building his woven wire fence. So we're going to go over there and we're going to learn something pretty cool there. And we're also going to meet someone. He's got a really cool outdoor channel for kids, for young kids to teach them how to hunt and fish and get out of the house and stop playing video games. Today's vlog will be pretty educational, pretty fun, and you'll meet somebody really cool. We're going to have a lot of fun today, guys. So come along. Let's have some fun. All right. Woo. Stony. Hey. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, so what we're going to do here is kind of reverse order. We're going to show you the finished product and then we're going to show you how we put it together. We're going to talk a little bit about the science behind bracing and building your fence here and we'll just kind of walk you through it. So I'm going to let Brian do a lot of the talking here and basically walk you through exactly what he's already done and then we'll show you how it's done. Right here is like the starting point of the brace. Uh, this point right here will be where our gate is. Okay. And this is where we'll start pulling our wire. The thing about braces is they are what really supports all the tension of the wire and you kind of want a way to add tension over time because things do move. Gotcha. This is an inline strainer, okay. a ratchet strainer. You can tension this over time as things start gets, you know, work way, way loose. Right here you want to drive a staple and then you want to dr drop two staples in to keep this wire from cutting into the post. Okay. when you put tension on it so. you do this first before you put your wire up and then you can start cutting this wire to length this here is what what do you call that i just call this a crimp ferrule okay there are several different types made i like this particular kind because i can get three to four crimps on here and get a real good bite on the wire gotcha. and i slide this down just to keep animals feet you know things of that nature from them sticking their feet in it now this is a ratcheting tensioner right here and then we go up and do the exact same thing up here except for you just have a rebar rod driven between the two posts is that right yeah right here there's about a, a four to five inch metal rod that is you know two and a half inches probably into this post two and a half into this and then repeat here uh, so you just drill a hole you know at the height you want to put the top of this um, we center drill the post here and then we just kind of put these posts on we have to put these posts on before we do wire yeah. this will be our starting point for where we initially start pulling wire once we get to that stage in the process so we'll tie our wire off to this post this will be our starting post since we're pulling the wire in this direction your your tension or force direction of force will be going this way right so as the wire is pulling this way it's gonna this brace post will push against the top of this yep and in return direct that force back to the bottom of that post instead of pulling your post like this you're actually trying to pull the post this way gotcha. which is almost impossible Guys, in case you haven't noticed, there's a size difference between me and Brian. Brian's a lot taller than I am, and so it's hard for us to both get in the camera at the same time. <laughs> We're gonna just go ahead and start busting this out, and I'll take you through the details as we do it, as we get crimping and as we get working. I'll bring the camera over and I'll show you all the details. All right, so here's the rebar situation. Here's the post. We're getting ready to put it in between the bracing. So we'll stick the rebar in this hole right here, which goes about that deep about here okay and then we'll drive the next piece of rebar which is already installed in the post we'll drive that through so i'll help brian get this all lined up here it really doesn't need any help there we go so that's in there and let me grab the hammer do you need do you need do you need so we're right there we'll tap it in yes now you just kind of lining it up is the biggest thing so lightly tap it at first till we I uh, believe you need to go towards you. There we go. Now nah, she's sliding right on in. Now you want me to leave a little bit of this exposed? We need to leave about, about half an inch or so exposed. Okay. That's pretty good right there. All right. Brian has gotten this brace prepared for us. This is a crimp before it's been crimped. We're just looped over the post here. And judging the distance, it's basically about half. You just basically judge half the distance and try to get this as close to the center as you possibly can. All right, push. 
Good. This one, ever so gentle. Drive out about the same. About the same. I'm holding the camera and swinging a hammer. That's what we call a good aim right there. And these are fence post staples. So when you drive them in, they'll actually curl out. Got the it. ends of these will curl out so that they just don't pull out. Gotcha. That's the thing about using, make sure you use fence post staples. Just like that. So we hook on the staple here and we're just basically getting an idea of how long it needs to be. So here's the crimpers and this is the setting that we're going to use on the crimpers and we're basically, it's just like a pair of bolt cutters and it just crimps it shut. You want to crimp. Alright, get a little stiff air at the end. There we go. That's how you know it's biting. There we go. Yep. You got holes in here. I always turned it where you can just easily get the wire in the hole initially. <laughs> Wear eye protection because Brian will poke your eyeball out with this stuff. I gotta help him. You just slide this. You slide. That's why it kept popping off because you weren't slid up like you wanted to be. Rule number one, don't let go of the wire, either one. <laughs> <laughs> now you said there's an online resource that you used a lot to build this fence? I used uh, Stay Tough wire, okay. uh, woven wire. It's a uh, high tensile fixed knot wire. Gotcha. Uh, when I did my other pasture, they actually online, they have a, uh, a guide that tells you about anything you need to know about building a fence. Cool. From setting posts, pulling wire, building braces. Everything you'd want to know. It's a, it's a good fencing uh, Bible. So what Brian's done here, so he's brought his wire up through these holes and we're getting ready to ratchet down this section of bracing. You notice that we have a lot of yep, excess of... wire. That will get in your way later on, but you want to get it, leave it long enough so you can bend it around like so, but then you need to trim this excess. Keep up with your trimmings because we don't want that to wind up in a, any of our livestock's foot later on down the road. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting a little bit of pressure on this. As you're cranking on there, you want to keep it walking around that spool right here. And just keep tightening it up. Once we get it a little bit snug, then we'll come back here and we'll show you crimping down here. Basically, this process will be repeated right here on each brace all the way around this whole pasture, around this fence. We slid these on before we put tension and put it through the tensioner. What I like to do now is I'll try to push my wire together. I'll slide one of these down, maybe about in that neighborhood. Got a good crimp there. Good crimp there. Like I said, you can get about three or four decent crimps on this. That way they will not slide once we start putting tension on this. So folks, that's just how you do the bracing. He's finishing this one up right here. Now he'll crank down the tension, just snug, and then wait a little bit. And then go back and crank it a little bit more. And then check them, you know, once every two or three months, at least for the first year or so. And then go about every year and go back and check the tension and make sure everything's nice and tight and snug. These things are like guitar strings or like a piano string. Once you first put them on there, they're gonna stretch a little bit, okay? And then as they get warm, they're gonna stretch. As they get cold, they're gonna draw tighter. So just some things to think about. The next video on the fencing series will be how we install the wire, okay? So we'll talk about all the wire that we're gonna install. This is not gonna be a high tensile fence. It's gonna be a woven wire fence high tensile woven wire fence. We're gonna get busy, get all these braces done. Probably have four more to do today. And we'll show you a little bit more about fencing in the next video, how we install the fence, how we stretch it out with the tractor, how we nail it and all that stuff. There's a lot of science that goes into fencing. Who's this guy? Who's this guy right here? <laughs> Speak up now, you're on camera. <laughs> Guys, this is Hayden. Hayden, this is the first time I met Hayden, so shake your hand, buddy. Nice to meet you. We're going to interview you in a little bit, okay? We're going to talk a whole lot about what you do on your channel and all the fun stuff and trying to get kids your age out of the house and off the couch and out fishing and hunting and living outdoor life, right? Yep, sounds good. This is Hayden, and you have a YouTube channel. You just started. What's it called? It's called Get Outdoors with Hayden. 
get outdoors with Hayden. So I found out about Hayden from his uncle who delivered gravel out to the house in one of the vlogs. I'll post a link to it right here. Uh, we did a video about how to spread gravel and how to build a driveway. And his uncle said, yeah, my, my nephew's doing YouTube videos. And I said, well, who is he? Let's find out. Next thing you know, we're in touch. And I watched some of his videos, guys, and I really got to say, just watching a young man like this get out and have fun in the outdoors and I guess what what's your main goal with your channel what what did you start this for well my main goal with my channel is to keep kids well not technically keep kids but like get them outdoors and focused in the outdoors so they're not constantly always on their cell phones playing games and stuff like that yeah so you see the same thing that we see everybody's always thumbing around on their phones and texting and Facebook and so tell me about your last video that you did I on my last video I did a kickoff to the 2018 spring turkey season and I took some footage from last year's turkey season that we shot and I had a pretty good season last year so you'll have to go check that out and see what it looks like yeah see if you like it or not this young man has enough hunting knowledge he, his hunting knowledge is way over my head and his fishing knowledge is way over my head he's, he's really smart very articulate he can speak well he does a good job and i think you guys should go check out his channel subscribe to his channel check him out a, we got a horse over here <laughs> doing a great job i think it's a great idea to get these kids off the couch get them off the playstation out of the video games outside fishing hunting learning how to do that kind of stuff so how long have you been hunting uh, i've been hunting since i was about i think the first time i ever went hunting i was three years old okay and you hunted deer this year I've hunted deer, rabbits, squirrels, ducks, pretty much everything. And turkey season's right around, turkey season's right around the corner, so there yep. should be some videos from that. Nice. So we'll have some good turkey hunting videos. That's cool. How old were you when you killed your first deer? I was seven. Seven years old. Guys, go check out Hayden's channel. It's Get Outdoors with Hayden. There'll be a link right up here. You can click it. Go check him out. Subscribe to his channel. I think you'll enjoy it. Watch him grow. What a smart young man. I just want to introduce you to that. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here off the Stony Ridge Farm today. We showed you how this fence works. We showed you how the bracing goes. And I'm going to pick the camera up here and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. I thought I'd introduce you to somebody cool, somebody with a lot of potential, somebody that's going to grow in YouTube, really. Let's look at this fence real quick. So this is the finished product of the fence that we're building right now, okay? And you can see how pretty, how straight it is. And we'll teach you how the wire is attached in the next fencing video. It'll probably be sometime next week. So guys, thanks a lot for joining us today. Go check out Hayden's channel. I've never met a young man that had a better channel for hunting and fishing and stuff like that. It's, it's really impressive. Go check it out. We'll see you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Come on. Woo! <laughs> you gotta do better than that. Ready? Woo! Woo! Yo, <laughs> come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.